Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I for those that are new to the channel. Welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Fabulous to have you. Love your comments. Read every single one of them. I heart them when I read them. Don't get a chance to reply to everybody, but it is so appreciated. And I realized that today I am going to have a thousand videos up. So holy crumbs, can I talk? Okay, what I'm going to do today, have a look at in this reading, entertainment only, is uh, Kim Jong-un going to Moscow. I was asked to have a look at that. I'm going to use my runic tarot cards uh, just because it has that sort of energy. I use the cards that I am drawn to. So what I uh, was reading a, uh, a news article from the BBC in regards to this, I like to use uh reputed news sources uh and what it is is uh it is a, apparently a talk about supplying weapons to uh russia now what i really got when i was looking at uh looking at that news article i got the the a, a real powerful feeling of i don't have weapons to supply now, I don't know whether that's true or not. Uh, I know they hold these big marches with these missiles and supposed military or something, but the real what came into me is they don't have anything to supply. But we'll have a look, see if what's going to come out of it. Now, there is sort of speculation about what's in it for North Korea, these talks. Um there is speculation about whether it's to sort of get advanced weapon technology off Russia in regards to uh, North Korea's uh, weapons plan. But I really got the big feel was um, oil, and I've underlined it, oil. Uh, I didn't feel that it was so much the tech itself. So let's have a bit of a wander and see what we can find out. So what's behind... What's the energies behind? I'm just going to do a uh, what I call my spiritual growth spread. It's one that I sort of stole and bastardized off Denise from Spiritual Growth Tarot. But show me, guys. Show me the energies behind. Why? Okay. It's not Kim Jong-un I'm seeing that's going to go. He's going to send a delegate, which makes sense, I suspect. Let's have a look. All right, signifier card for this is the Three of Pentacles, setting a solid foundation, the working behind the, um, working behind the scenes, dark money, the signifier, working in isolation is what I'm really seeing there. It's, how do I put this? Isolated and doing the bidding of others is what I really get there. Okay, let's see where this goes. And here we have Mother Russia herself being the challenge. Okay, behind the scenes, um, Nine of Pentacles, which is normally sort of the the independent wealthy uh but what i'm okay thank you if i say thank you it often means that i'm getting a well it actually always means i'm getting a message from spirit my my spirit guides but if you hear something uh just pop it in the comments i find it quite fascinating because i don't hear hear them but they do like to uh, interact with the microphone um yeah i'm just really getting the indolence the energies behind the scenes is just the, uh, if you think of the, the Kim Jong-un uh, regime, those that are in the top echelons of power have um, vast wealth, food, I'm seeing guilt, uh, as in G-I-L-T, as in gold, guilt, glamorous luxury, um, good schooling that's the feels I'm getting from this card now I choose particular decks for well I don't choose my guides to direct me towards particular decks for the images and this is what I'm getting this is energies behind the scenes it's just that um 
indolent wealth is what I'm feeling. And then we've got the two of cups here, agreements, partnerships uh, being made, emotional partnerships being made. But I'm getting to retain this. Okay. What's coming out of this uh, this uh, wealth? She's going to be a crossroads moment. So this is the energies behind uh, Kim Jong-un sending a delegation or a delegate to Moscow. It's supposed to be happening in the next couple of weeks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm being told that it's to see what happens. So there's two paths forward here, one in the bright light, one down through the dark, through the darkness. Now, I don't even know whether the darkness is, sh is showing on here, but it is a crossroads moment with the messaging is so to um, do they continue down the path of light? Now, I'm not talking about the path of light as we know light. It's just what path do they take? So I think getting the real feeling, they're just feeling each other out in regards to this. But here we have, out of this contract agreement, it's it's all about, now I don't know if you can see that card, It's they are very dark. I'll actually just click over here and see if I can get these cards to brighten up slightly. Uh, yeah, betrayal, lies, betrayal, stealing. Okay, the image I'm getting is two is two wrestling adversaries circling each other is the image I get clear as day. They're just feeling each other out, but it's there's just there's the lies, betrayal of the truth, you know, all the rest of it. Okay, karma above the uh, karma over this this meeting. Uh, cage of Pentacles, bringing forward an offer of stability and protection um, in exchange for money. But I'm really drawn in this particular card to the hills in the background, the obstacles that are in play in regards to this. And it is only a page. So it's bringing forth a message of money and uh, in exchange for protection and then we have the ace of cups partnership new beginning so let's see where this goes ten of pentacles is outcome ten of pentacles are the well raping pillaging whatever you like to call it but it's also the end of a end of a oligarchal legacy or end of a legacy we have the negotiator, the diplomat here. It's also my my NATO Biden, whatever you like to call it, card. Those sorts of negotiators. And a tower moment. Absolutely flaming, flaming, flaming the gold, flaming the, the, the bodies of those that have been killed. It's going to bring about a tower moment. And then we move into healing and stability. Okay, and then we have a, a new start. A new start. So this is actually taking taking me on authentic reform, but a significant ending and a and a new beginning, as there is inflammatory information coming forward. It's going to leave destitution with this five of pentacles financial destitution knight of swords a harsh truth coming forward for them that's going to expose bring to the surface the lies the the seediness the the corruption with the moon card there I'm going to end on that moon card. What have we got on the bottom? Reaping what they sow. Page of swords coming forward with a message of the truth. A lot of information coming out about choices based, seven of cups, choices based on greed, 
of the governments. Wow, this is actually really interesting. I'm wondering where this is going to go. Two of um, Pentacles, a plan put into play, but there's a lot of anxiety about this with the Nine of Swords, anxiety as the truth is exposed. And then the Six of Wands, which can be victory, but I see this in this particular deck as surrender. And then we've got the Ten of Cups, celebration and ending, again, an ending of a cycle. And we have a new start. I, with the, with the Ace of Wands, it's like literally flaming, I'm going to literally flaming and bringing about a new plan. You've got the King of Swords, and then we have the tr truth is going to come out about the lies, about the lies and the betrayal and the deceit, and then we have the Ten of Wands, which is about planting the seeds for a new start, the ending of a cycle. Okay, this is actually taking me a bit somewhere that I wasn't thinking of initially. Um, how do I put this? There's going to be, I'm really getting that there's going to be a betrayal of one party to the other that is going to bring about the downfall, the isolation, the, the downfall of one of these parties. Okay, I'm going to do three cards each. Top row will be North Korea, bottom row will be Russia. How is this going to play out for each party? It's not good. It's I'm just going to say it's not going to play out well. So I'll do, um, there's, there's backstabbing going on here. There's, uh, and, and I'm getting that it's going to bring about an ending of one or the other regimes. So, okay, three cards for North Korea, please. Three cards for North Korea. The truth being packed up and moved forward to a new beginning with the Six of Swords in regards to the excessive indulgence. And then we have the Queen of Swords, the feminine, the feminine truth, wisdom, knowledge, energy, saying, bring it on. Okay. And then the Eight of Swords. I know I said three cards, but I can't help myself. You know me. Uh, the Eight of Swords. Um, restriction. Look at all these swords here. So a truth being, being packed up and moved forward to a new horizon in regards to the luxurious, indulgent, uh, self-indulgent life, there's going to be a feminine energy come forward here with the truth about it that is going to restrict. So that's North Korea. Let's see where this goes. Show me the regime of Russia in regards to this. What's the outcome for the regime of Russia in regards to this meeting? If anyone's got any uh, light they can glean on this, please let me know. What's the outcome for the regime, the uh, Kremlin, the oligarch, Russia, in regards to this meeting? What is the outcome for the regime of Russia? Let's have a look. Come on, down. Seven of um, wands having to defend themselves. I'll actually I'll pop the computer up because the light is better up here. So we've got the seven of wands, a literally bringing down of the heavens, and they, and having to defend themselves. The nine of wands. A barrier in place. 
but do not cross. Five of Pentacles. Destitution. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to come to an agreement here, but it's going to be exposing. There's, yeah, there's backstabbing going on at play here. Look at this hand while well, that hand's doing that is really what I'm feeling. Uh, desolation, isolation. Um, yeah, this is, and then we have the star, healing hope, good defeating evil, and then temperance, moderation, balance. This actually, hey, I'm, yeah, this is the plotting going on behind the scenes. I don't think secrets, sorry, I'll get there in a second. Uh, secrets, the bison in the room, secrets not yet revealed. There's, there's stuff going on in the background here that's going to bring about a downfall. Talking about Russia here. Um, what I'm getting, how do I put this, guys? Entertainment only. Um, Let's see how it plays, but I'm getting that, I put it, North Korea, the delegate or Kim Jong-un himself is going to try and play and betray Russia to try and bolster itself. Sorry, that's my daughter in the background there, if you heard door opening and stuff. Um... walking down the hallway, uh, uh, they're going to betray Russia, which is actually going to bring about destitution for the regime in Russia. Does that make sense? Um, how do I put this? Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm seeing Kim Jong-un looking at what China did in regards to the apps. Uh, where China sort of claimed extra land from Russia. And I'm seeing Kim Jong-un going, oh, okay. And and there's a betrayal going on. I'm going to say there's a betrayal going on that is going to expose uh, to the truth the Kim Jong-un regime, but it's going to, um, I'm getting it's going to be decimating for the Russian regime. This is interesting. Okay, let's see how it plays. Take care.